Yeah, hi, uh, I'm Nahid. Um, so, um, in actually, uh, right now I work at a startup uh, named Opal, where we are building an auto ML platform. Um, so my work does not involve Rasa exactly right at this moment, but uh, in my previous role, um, I was building an enterprise assistant, and um, I, I really loved Rasa. I got to know about the team and. Uh, the product is, uh, it, it gives you such flexibility um, that um, we, we were using it for building the enterprise assistant. Um, so when uh, the Rasa team actually reached out to me um, about developer conference, um, I was wondering like, what is it that I can share today uh, from which you can learn something and take away and um, can probably repeat that process uh, to contribute to Rasa if, if you like. Um, so then um, I thought um, during my last job when I actually built um, a communication channel um, specific to a Cisco platform where I was working, um, and I'll, I'll talk about it um, just in a moment. Uh, so I, I, that, that code is actually part of Rasa code now. Um, so can anyone guess how many lines of code it was? Any guesses? 100. <laughs> any, any more guesses? Uh, okay, so whoever said 100, this is for you. Actually 268, so you are the closest. Uh, it, to you? <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, let's, let's, uh, without further ado, um, let's, let's get started. So, um, before, before continuing on the slide, um, so, what is actually a communication channel? What, what is, uh, what, what do I mean by that? So, if, if you're familiar with Raza, uh, you'll see that um, there are um, support for, platforms like uh, Facebook Messenger or Slack, uh, where by directly using uh, Raza APIs, you can um, communicate uh, with those specific chat platforms. Um, so uh, in my previous role, I was uh, working at Cisco, and um, if you know, um, there is a um, product called Cisco WebEx, which is it's pretty similar to Slack, uh, and we were actually using that for building an enterprise assistant where, uh, for our salespeople, uh, where the assumption was that our sales engineer uses uh, WebEx Teams as the communication platform. Um, so, uh, so, yeah, so that, it's, that's, that was what we are doing. And um, so we essentially had a, a microservice architecture, and I'm lazy, so I didn't draw the diagram, but uh, so essentially there was a, uh, central server, and in one side there was uh, your UI and interfaces uh, with uh, that takes the input and sends to the back end uh, where it does some processing with Raza. So the main service was always doing um, communication with many different services through REST interface. So it's, it's, it's good to get started with that. But uh, one of the issues with um, REST, uh, uh, REST protocol is if you lose a message, then um, how do you get notified? Uh, how do you retry, right? Um, so that's why we wanted to reduce uh, the dependency on REST. Um, and uh, so if we had, um, at the time, if, we, if, we, if Rasa had uh, direct uh, communication APIs with uh, Cisco WebEx, then, um, then, we, then we didn't need REST for that, that part of the channel, right? Um, so we thought, um, and, and the interesting thing was, um, I was looking on um, the Raza issues, existing issues at that time, and uh, I think there was a request from someone, um, either from Tom, probably, um, that uh, it, it's a nice, uh, it's, it's a feature request that um, if, if anyone can build um, 
a communication channel for Cisco WebEx. So I was like, hmm, I, 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 I know Raza API and I know WebEx API, so maybe I can do that. Uh, so that's, that's how it, um, it got started and that's, uh, that's how we uh, ended up doing that. Um, so, um, so what, how, how do you think, of, so if, if at the end of this talk you um, go and um, maybe you, you can think of your favorite, some other platform, for example, Intercom, if you, if you want to build a channel, Rasa channel for Intercom, how do you go about that, right? So um, th think about the fundamentals and basics, right? So in, in any communication tools, what, what are the basic actions? Uh, there, there is some kind of input, um, there is some kind of output, right? And each communication platform um, supports certain types of input, right? For example, text is very basic input. Um, then depending on which platform you're using, I, I guess everyone supports image and video these days. Um, so those are different data types. Um, so, you, so you will get that, that you basically have to create an input channel and an output channel. An input channel will have certain properties uh, for authorizing the communication. So for example, your credentials. Uh, so for example, if you are generally a lot of these uh, platforms like WebEx or similar platforms, they use webhooks um, for authorizing, uh, authorization. Um, uh, so that's, 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 that's one. And then what, what message you are sending, um, that, that's part of your input also. And the output is basically what, what is it that you are outputting to that platform. So if, if, the, if Slack or Cisco WebEx is in front of me, what is it that I'm seeing there? I, I'm either seeing text or image or some other kind of file. So th those will be handled by the output channel. Um, and of course, there are a um, certain number of unit tests you have to write uh, for the PR to be accepted, and uh, there are certain documentation that you have to do, uh, which are all part of how to contribute uh, in Rasa or any open source um, system, I guess. Um, so I'll look into the... Can... Can anyone see this? Um, so. So, uh, so there are, so if you look at this file, it's basically part of the documentation. So whenever you are uh, contributing anything new, it needs to be, uh, it, it, will, it should show up in the documentation, right? So uh, the docs, um, so you, if you are, contributing a channel, then it's, it, you will add some new um, information in the connectors uh, file. Um, and then basically you, uh, so this is essentially the credential part. Uh, it's really pretty common that you generally have an, uh, have an ID and then uh, so an access token. So uh, that's th th those are part of your credentials. Um, and the interesting thing is, uh, if you look at the uh, init uh, class, um, where so init file where it is initializing the input classes, um, you will see that there are existing channels that it was supported. For example, Facebook Messenger or Slack. So uh, I don't know how to raise it. Uh, can you see this? It's probably better now, right? Yeah, so, so this is basically like, okay, so you are adding a new input channel, so you uh, basically give it a name. Um, and so then you'll, so inside Raza code channels, you will see um, that, okay, so all these basically the basic actions like uh, send text message or uh, send image URL or send like file URL. So those actions are actually happening in that file, uh, in that portion of the code. Um, and then, uh, as I mentioned, then there, there will be like something to handle the credentials. Uh, uh, if there is certain credential missing, then you essentially raise the exceptions. Um, in, in case of WebEx, it's like 
so it's uh, so you have your credential credential and also like which chat room you have access so that room name is also part of your credential uh, i think it's pretty similar to slack uh, really um, and then uh, basically when any message comes uh, how do you um, actually process that message um, and yeah so that's and then basically the all the webhook stuff um, and then, um, so this, this was part of the unit test uh, that I was talking about. Um, so you, basically if you, if you download this code, um, you will replace some of these uh, things with your own access token and you can kind of test it out. Um, yeah. Um, so the more channel you add, uh, your number of channel will increase. Um, so, if the number of channel that Rasa supports now, for example, is 10, and you are adding a new channel, for example, intercom, then it will be, you have to increase one number, which is 11. Um, so, so, yeah, so I guess um, what uh, the, the code we went through, uh, so the question is like, okay, so what is it next that we can do from here? And um, so I keep saying about Intercom because I really like the product. Um, and um, I think the overall the customer service and ticketing systems are, I, I find that space very interesting. And actually I, I saw in, um, I think in Raza Core, in one of the issues, somebody is asking that how to actually build an Intercom channel. Um, so I, I thought that, oh, this, this might be useful for some folks. Uh, so you, if, if, you, if you are looking to do any new channel, uh, the prerequisite really is you have, it's better to be familiar with both Rasa, which a lot of people you are, and that new platform, how that platform actually sends and receives message, uh, that, that fundamentals. And if you know those two things, then I think it will be um, pretty straightforward. Uh, about 250 lines of code, you can kind of get it done and um, hopefully get a PR approved and get your open source contribution uh, if you are looking, if you're interested in that. Um, yeah, I guess that's all from me and thank you. And anyone has any questions? <laughs> Uh, you mentioned about message processing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, how the bi-directional communication will be done? Is it through our web socket or web RTC? Yeah, it's, it's, it it's webhook. Yeah, webhook. Okay. It's webhook. Webhook, yeah, uh, yeah. and uh, you are not using web socket for bi-directional communication. Uh, so, so that's that's a type of socket, right? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, I have a T-shirt for you. Um, I have a, so how would you unit test this? Would you like mock the uh, interface or? Yeah, so essentially like um, the functions you have written, um, you actually send some message. You, you put your, like the, the code I showed where there is credentials. So you, so suppose you create your uh, Cisco WebEx account, so you'll get an get an authorization ID, and then you will if you create a room, you will get a room ID. So you use those two th two things in your authorization file, and then uh, you can send like sample message, and see if it is coming to that specified room that you you mentioned in your auth channel. So that's send and sending and receiving in uh, actually is kind of that's how we unit tested it. So I think in in your last slide you mentioned about snow, yeah, service now. Sorry. In in the last slide you uh -huh. mentioned about the service now. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So, um, can you please um, uh, uh, tell me your, your suggestions, like what are the different APIs mm -hmm. are required to connect the RASA with the ServiceNow? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the so ServiceNow, um, so I know that they also have APIs for sending and receiving messages. So that, that's what I meant. Like, I don't know actually about uh, the ServiceNow platform in itself as a developer, but if you look into those APIs and try to make a messaging, simple messaging app of sending and receiving message, you'll, you'll get the idea of what are the information you need for credentials and how you actually send and receive message in, in ServiceNow. So you can port those knowledge in basically this code and kind of replace and make your own channel that way. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll, I'll have a t-shirt for you. I have more t-shirts. <laughs>